hi what's up good morning in this journey we are going to create a birthday card you know in corridor 2020 you know without further ado let's get to it uh in corridor let's uh double click on rectangular to automatically start to the page then you uh, press your shift on keyboard then you drag inward to reduce the uh, what they call the objects then you drag up let's go over to my downloading uh, folder which I'm gonna pick uh, the uh, material in which we're gonna use for this project here are these two images but I'm not okay with that I'm gonna really even change the color in uh, Photoshop in Photoshop let's drag the two objects into Photoshop let's wait a while to open here it is right now now we're gonna go to our uh, image then go to adjust go to hell stroke saturation let's drag this uh, slide until when we get to our destination our preferred color then we'll release i think this is nice okay then you go over at your edit the image then you go over to level let's darken it a bit you know can you see okay let's save that to desktop saved okay so as this right now we're gonna really change uh, the bloge uh, uh, object you know the same process in which we uh, change the other image that's what we gonna believe and go through right now this is okay then press okay let's save to desktop control shift s okay then let's go over to our color draw to import other image also right click then import we are the two images in which we edited go against like we've saved it to a wrong place save okay okay import So as this right now, we are going to uh, power clip this into the objects. Then let's power clip the image itself, which is the image of the woman. Let's convert to bitmap. Convert it to bitmap. We want to work on the image a bit, you know, because it's an online card. It has to be sharp. Okay. Good. Let's power clip that too. Bring it up. 
yeah as this right now we are going to blend this uh, image into it because it has a very static you know, uh, pattern good good let's mark let's mark clear bring it down let's select the image drag it up good now we are going to type the test let's celebrate celebrate a local Christiana Christy a local Christy let's go over to our fonts change it to uh futura t i so much fell in love with this uh fonts then you go over to your keyboard press ctrl k to break the test apart then let's make the whole thing cap lock tie to case then alongside with this change so let's press ctrl f Ctrl F uh, Shift F3 the dialog box will open then you click on try to guess okay let's make it bigger change the fonts let's use Edward change the color make the outline press F12 make the outline 3 ok then you twist it double click on the test and twist it a bit good copy let's make the other let's make it black then press F12 make the other line 9 ok center it within this one then you should control page down you know to send to back so I still right now we are going to give it a shadow Now start you go over to sub menu change the the shadow size to hundred okay that makes it darker then we make it five enter good let's shift it up a bit go over to objects Break shadow apart. Let's adjust it a bit. Okay. Go to paint down. Good. As this right now, we are going to create a star to give it a funky look. Good. Then let's pick our shape so you know click on this you know drag this dotted line try drag it inward so create the star good then let's copy paste drag it inward right click paste then select the two 
go over access less combine or you press ctrl j on your keyboard automatically it applies good yeah let's make a copy make this smaller make this copy paste make it smaller copy paste let's twist this a bit copy paste yeah 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 good then you bring this up here let's make it bogus come me uh, uh let's bring the test bring this up here then shift it to the extreme handle of the image okay good click on shape to our space in between the celebration good and then let's okay you see here yeah, we we'll come to the end of the tutorial thanks for following me you know don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below to subscribe and uh, turn on the notification button in case i have something coming up next tomorrow bye for now